Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing good as we're all getting ready to celebrate the holidays with friends and family. I know I'm looking forward to carving myself up a nice turkey as well. But anyway, I digress. A lot of work goes into the technical side of broadcasting and streaming. And on this channel, we try to simplify things and explain things as much as possible. I am Mike, your friendly neighborhood tech guy. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a webcam for your live streams or broadcast. All right, guys, before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of my video, my own stream at twitch.tv slash Michael C. Moore. We currently don't have any legitimate sponsors for this channel, so please consider stopping by my streams. Also, please consider subscribing for free using Twitch Prime as that would be a super kind and awesome way to support me and my content as well. I am live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes Saturdays as well. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and show you how to get your webcam set up for your streams. So right off the bat, you're gonna need three things to get you started. One being your webcam, of course, a PC or laptop, and a streaming software of your choice. This video in particular is going to primarily focus on setting up your webcam, but if you would like to see a video that shows you how to set up a professional looking stream from the bottom up, please go ahead and let me know in the comments down below like subscribe and hit the bell so that way you're notified of when we post the video as well for our purposes today we will be using the logitech c922 which is one of the most common webcams that streamers use but you could pretty much follow along with any other usb webcam i'm gonna go ahead and put a link to this webcam in the description down below i'll also go ahead and put some cheaper and higher quality options in the description as well consider checking them out or possibly making a purchase to also support the channel as well now that you have your webcam and PC ready presumably, you're gonna need to go ahead and download your streaming software of choice. Personally, I like to use OBS Studios as that's my favorite, but you could actually use any other program and follow along as they're all pretty similar. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the download link for OBS Studios in the description down below. Just go ahead, run the setup wizard for that, and then let it go ahead and put its automatic settings once you're gonna actually open the software. If you're actually interested in getting the most out of your OBS Studios and going ahead and optimizing the settings for the highest quality that you could get, I highly recommend checking out this video up here it's a video that i made that basically shows you what are the best settings that you could put on obs and i actually walk you through how to do it for your specific setup or pc now that we're in obs the first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is add a scene a scene is basically the visual representation of what you're actually streaming to your audience so for example right now you see my webcam if I was to change the size of the webcam or if I changed any of the settings, you would actually be seeing that change in my stream, my broadcast, my recording. In order to go ahead and add a scene, we're going to go to the scene panel down here. This should be blank for you guys if you've never opened this software before, if you've never used it. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is hit this plus sign here, which is the add button. And then that'll let us create a scene. You can name it whatever you want. Let's just call this one webcam, for example. And then we're going to go ahead, hit OK. And now we have a freshly new scene. Once you've created your scene, adding a webcam is actually pretty easy. Once you have your webcam plugged in, now you're ready to go ahead and add it to your stream as a source. All the different components that actually make up your stream, such as your overlay, microphone, or even your webcam are referred to as a source. To add your webcam in as a source, we're gonna go ahead and go to the sources panel down here, and we're gonna hit the add button is here as well. Then, since you're adding a webcam, you're going to look for the video capture device. And then let's go ahead and uh, give it a name. So let's say Logitech C920 for ours or C922. We're going to create it new. Then we're going to go here to this list and you're going to actually go ahead and look for it. And as you can see, it's right here for us, the C922 Pro Stream webcam. And then we're gonna go ahead, hit okay, and add it. If you followed all these steps, then congratulations, your webcam should be working now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you some basic tips and tricks that you can use to make your webcam look its best so that you could get the most value out of it. Now, you guys should know that there are a couple of things that you should actually do to the environment that you're recording in to make your webcam look extra good. Some examples of this would be putting a light directly behind your webcam so that it lights up your face or your subject 
better than the rest of your background. You should also consider turning off the other lights in your room, such as your ceiling light, because that's going to be throwing light on your background and not directly on you. And that's going to make your image look a lot more muddy and it's not going to allow your webcam to really focus on your face as much. It would also really help you if you close your blinds or curtains to not let any daylight in because the additional light can really throw off the focus from your webcam and it's not going to look as good. I actually have a little bit more of a complex lighting setup myself. I have a setup that consists of about nine lights, which are my main light, a filler light, these two colored lights, which kind of set me separate me from the background. Those are called hair lights. Then I actually have like four or five RGB lights that light up my walls to make the background look a little bit more interesting as well. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to get the same kind of lighting that I have going on here, then you already know what to do. And also, in case you want to already purchase these lights, I'm going to go ahead and leave them in the description down below as well. But you can make a purchase from them to support the channel, which would be super appreciated. Now that we talked about your lighting and we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and tweak a little bit more settings so that we could get your camera looking beautiful. All right. So now, as you can see, we're back on that menu that we left off when we were adding our webcam. And we're going to go ahead and fiddle around with some of these settings to get the camera to look how we want. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to the resolution drop down menu and I like to set my webcam at 1920 by 1080 or as we com most commonly know it 1080p from there we're gonna go ahead and go to the FPS drop down menu and we're gonna go ahead and select 30 just so that you guys know most streamers like to stream at either 30 FPS or 60 FPS I stream at 60 FPS myself that being said the Logitech C922 only records at 30 frames per second in order to get 60 frames per second I actually use a bit of a fancier camera myself which is the Sony a7 II. The Sony a7 II is a mirrorless camera that requires a lot more of a complicated setup and it's also a lot more expensive as well. If you guys would like to see me make a video showing you guys how to set up a mirrorless or DSLR camera for streaming or making YouTube videos, please let me know in the comments down below subscribe and turn on the bell as well so that way you guys are notified of when i post that video going back to the topic at hand though let's get back to these settings for the video format the c922 only uses mjpeg so that's what we're going to use for color space i like working at 709 and for color range i like it at full now as far as buffering goes i actually just leave it on auto i don't notice that it makes a difference for the webcam so we're gonna leave it as is so in my particular case this webcam it looks all right but i think we could get it looking a little bit better by tweaking a couple of other settings here first i would actually recommend maybe seeing if the exposure is set how we would like on the camera so in order to do that we're gonna go ahead and right click on our webcam and we're gonna hit properties once we do that we'll go over to configure video and then we will go to camera control and then you can see that exposure is shown here and the auto box i personally like to tick it off because i don't like the standard level of exposure that the webcam puts we're going to take that off and i think negative five might look decent let me see what negative six looks like between negative six negative five hmm Personally, I think negative six looks a little bit better and then we'll go ahead and tweak a couple of other th settings to get it looking good. The next thing I think you should do is actually go ahead, right click your webcam again, and then let's go ahead and add a filter. You're going to go and go ahead to the effect filters panel, and then you're going to go ahead and click on the cross or add button there. And then we're going to go ahead and choose color correction so that we could add a filter that's going to allow us to correct the colors of the camera personally to make the webcam look good what i like to do is maybe take away a little bit of gamma let's see how that's starting to look there i'm gonna add some contrast then let's maybe add some brightness i'm gonna i'm gonna be going back and forth playing with these so let's add a little bit of brightness here maybe add a little bit more contrast reduce the gamma a little bit more we're gonna add a good amount of saturation so that the colors really get brought out here. And now I'm noticing that my skin color is a little bit pinkish, kind of reddish. So what I'm going to want to go ahead and do is play with the U shift slider here. If you see to the right, it's going to make us like warmer. So I'm going to slide it to the left a little bit just to kind of get our skin looking a little bit more natural right around there and i think that actually looks a lot better now we finally have our camera set up but as you can see it's taking up the full screen 
and that might be fine if you're trying to use your camera as an intermission screen for your stream but a lot of the times when you're streaming you're also trying to have a game in the background behind your webcam so now i'm going to show you guys how to resize your webcam in case you actually want to do that so if you like to make another scene with a different size webcam you just go ahead and add a scene like how we did in the beginning by going over the scenes panel you hit the add button you make a scene and let's call this one maybe our gameplay scene where we're gonna have a smaller camera and the gameplay in the background and what we're gonna go ahead and do is add a source again we're gonna go ahead and do video capture device but this time it's already existing so we're just gonna go ahead and click on add existing and then we're gonna click on logitech c922 and when you add the camera's already there and it already saved all our settings from when we uh tinkered with the settings the last time and finally if you'd like to resize your camera all you would have to really do is go ahead and drag in the borders of your camera once it's been added as such and then you can reposition it as you like as well so let's make it a size that you normally use maybe something like this and then maybe put it where you'd like it when you have your game in your background additionally if you hold down the alt key you can actually crop your camera and that's how sometimes some streamers will have a more square or vertical camera compared to the standard uh rectangular horizontal one that you see when you're using 1080p now in case you guys were curious as to how to set up a stream more in depth on obs i actually did already make a video on how to get a fully functional stream in five easy steps if you guys are interested you could go ahead and watch the video by clicking this banner right here that will actually show you how to get started we have also made tons of different useful videos on this channel already that can help you in regards to streaming and content creation so if you're interested go ahead and subscribe and check out the rest of my channel so that maybe you could find something else that might be useful to you please ask me any questions that you might have in the comment section down below or consider joining our discord our community discord is filled with tons of people that are passionate about streaming and content creation in general so if i'm not able to get to your question here on the comment section we'll be able to help you over there also if you found this video useful at all please go ahead like comment subscribe and ring the bell again please consider participating in my streams at twitch.tv slash michael c moore i will be live once this video is posted so please consider stopping by and perhaps subscribing for free using amazon prime it would be a great way to support our channel so we could keep making this awesome content we've recently also just released some fresh merch so if you'd like to make a purchase to support the channel today i'll go ahead and leave the link to that in the description down below as well if you'd like you could also consider supporting our patreon as well for some additional perks and benefits such as being in the end credits of these videos thank you all for watching and until next time happy streaming oh my god are you serious come on kid Get on, kid. Get